the newest groundbreaking scientific discoveries that illuminate the mysteries of our universe. In the vast expanse of our cosmos, intriguing celestial structure have recently been discovered, the Big Ring. This massive structures have sparked curiosity and wonder among astronomers and scientists worldwide. The Big Ring is not just fascinating due to its sheer size, but also because its existence challenges our current understanding of the universe. This structure, discovered by Alexia Lopez and her team, present a significant challenge to our current understanding of the universe's evolution and structure. The Big Ring is a ring-shaped, large-scale structure formed by galaxies and galaxy clusters with a diameter of 1.3 billion light-years, located 9.2 billion light-years away near the constellation boats. If visible, the Big Ring would span an area of the sky equivalent to 15 full moons. The discovery of the Big Ring challenges the current theoretical size limit of structures as it exceeds the expected size by a significant margin. The Big Ring is larger than the models we have of the universe at this time. This has led to questions about the standard model of cosmology and the need to potentially amend it. The discovery of these structure challenges the cosmological principle, which questions whether the universe is homogeneous or inhomogeneous. The existence of such large structure in the universe presents a mystery to astronomers and cosmologists, leading to the need for further observations and potential amendments to our current understanding of the universe's development. The existence of the Big Ring presents a significant cosmological mystery as researchers work to understand the universe and its development. These structures are so large that they could lead astronomers to reconsider old models of the universe's birth and evolution. In a world where energy consumption is on the rise, could the answer to sustainable energy storage lie in water batteries? Imagine this, batteries, but not as we know them. Batteries that are not only powered by water, but are also recyclable. Sounds like science fiction, right? But let me introduce you to the world of aqueous metal ion batteries. These aren't your regular batteries. Instead of relying on harmful chemicals and materials, these ingenious devices harness the power of water. They are designed to store energy in a sustainable and environmentally friendly way, a refreshing shift from traditional energy storage methods. But how does it work, you might ask? Well, it's all about the ions. These batteries use metal ions in a water-based solution to store and release energy. The process is not only efficient, but also safe, as it reduces the risk of overheating and combustion common in traditional batteries. Scientists and researchers have been working tirelessly to make this concept a reality, and their efforts are starting to pay off. The implications of this discovery are profound. Aqueous metal ion batteries could revolutionize the energy sector offering a viable and sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. They could power everything from our homes to our cars, all while helping to reduce our carbon footprint. As we strive for a cleaner planet, perhaps the future of energy storage lies not in more power, but in more sustainable solutions. Black holes, the mysterious cosmic entities that have intrigued scientists for decades. But what happens when we re-examine what we thought we knew about them? Take GNZ-11, for example, a puzzling black hole that has been the subject of scrutiny recently. It's not your average black hole, it's the most distant ever observed, residing in a galaxy far, far away. In the past, our understanding of GNZ-11 was limited, but thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we've been able to take a closer look. This state-of-the-art telescope has provided us with new insights, challenging what we thought we knew about these cosmic giants. The findings? They're nothing short of extraordinary. The data from James Webb has revealed that GNZ-11 is even more massive than we initially believed. With this discovery, scientists are now rethinking theories on how black holes form and grow. It appears that they can accumulate mass at a much faster rate than previously thought. This revelation not only redefines our understanding of black holes, but also challenges our perception of the early universe. Moreover, studying GNZ-11 gives us a glimpse into the past. Considering its distance, we're essentially looking at the universe as it was billions of years ago. The year 2024 has seen a remarkable breakthrough in somatic cell nuclear transfer, or SCNT, featuring none other than our primate cousin, the Reuse monkey. SCNT, for those new to the term, is a technique where the nucleus of a somatic cell, 
which is any cell other than sperm or egg cells, is transferred to an egg cell that has had its own nucleus removed. This egg cell then develops into an organism that shares its genetic makeup with the organism from which the somatic cell was taken. Essentially, it's cloning. In the past, we have successfully cloned animals such as Dolly the sheep and more than 20 other species. However, we have not yet succeeded in cloning species with DNA similar to humans. Until now. In the year 2024, scientists have achieved a breakthrough. They've successfully employed this technique with the Reus monkey, a feat that has astounded the scientific community. This development didn't happen overnight. It required a meticulous understanding of the Reus monkey's genetic makeup and the careful manipulation of their somatic and egg cells. The result? A cloned Reus monkey, a living, breathing testament to the marvels of genetic science. Now you may ask, why is this important? Well, this breakthrough has vast implications. It opens up a new realm of possibilities in genetics and medical science. Imagine potential treatments for genetic diseases or the preservation of endangered species. It may even pave the way for breakthroughs in human medicine. With this breakthrough, we edge closer to understanding the complexities of life, blurring the line between science fiction and reality. In a world dominated by technology, the smallest innovations could create the most significant impact. In January of 2024, a team at the Washington State University School of Mechanical and Materials introduced the world to the smallest insect-like robots ever created. These pint-sized powerhouses, no bigger than a common house fly, are an engineering marvel pushing the limits of what's possible in robotics. The development process of these microbots was both intricate and innovative, calling upon a diverse range of scientific disciplines. From material science to mechanical engineering, every field played a role in bringing these tiny technological wonders to life. But what's the point of a robot that's so small, you might ask? The applications are as wide-ranging as they are fascinating. Picture these microbots being used in environmental monitoring, where their small size allows them to access areas that would be otherwise unreachable. Or consider their use in the medical field, where they could potentially perform minimally invasive procedures providing a new frontier in healthcare. But what are the risks to use medical microbots? To find out, click on the next video.